Hey ghouls, it's Tara Kruger, the sweetest psychopath you'll ever meet, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go ahead and review the trailer for the upcoming horror film by Jordan Peele, Us. Yes, I am late to the party. This this trailer did this trailer did premiere on Christmas Day, and I barely do it now. I actually didn't even see the trailer till like a week or two later after Christmas. Um, I didn't even know it was out. I hadn't really heard about the movie. I was at, I was actually leaving a movie, and I saw the poster for it, and was like, oh, I need to check that out. But ever since I saw the trailer, I've been so intrigued with this movie. For, I'm just so excited for it to come out. Um, it does release in March. So take the out of the bag. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Can't believe how big they've got. Oh yeah. Where's Jason? Jason? Jason! I didn't know if you were lost. Stick with me and I'll keep you safe. There's a family in our driveway. If you want to get crazy, we can get crazy. They look exactly like us. They think like us. They won't stop until they kill us. Obviously, we kind of get that this film is dealing with doppelgangers or skinwalkers. We don't really quite know yet exactly what the monster in the movie is. Um, so right away, it's a family of four on vacation. They're going to their beach house when the little boy wanders off on the beach. His name is Jason, I believe. And there's just this weird hobo guy standing there doing a T-pose, blood dripping from his hands. So we kind of already get like a, a creepy vibe from some creep from some dude on the beach. Um, the mom finds him in his town. I'm like, oh, we thought we lost you. You went, you disappeared. We couldn't find you. And right off the bat, for me, um, just seeing that, and when it does, when we are, and when we are introduced to the doppelganger family later, I find it. I what stuck out to me was that the little boy doppelganger has his mouth kind of like melted, like if he was burned. Um, it could be to later on. It could be from later on in the film when it shows him walking out of a fire. But from what I got from it is maybe at the beach when the little boy goes missing he's already switched to the doppelganger and his mouth is melted shut so he can't tell the family that it's him and he's been switched but that's yeah, just kind of what I'm picking from the trailer I could be totally wrong because um, it does show him doing his weird little spider walks later so who knows um, exactly what's gonna happen in this movie um, Lup Lupita Nyong'o does play the mom sorry if I pronounced that weird um, so I'm excited to see that another thing I noticed in the film is um, rabbits have to do something with it um, Obviously, in the title card, you kind of see a rabbit in the ink blot test. It could be that or scissors. Um, of course, you see the rabbits running around the hall, but also the beginning of the trailer when um, it shows them getting to the beach. The daughter's wearing a shirt that has a rabbit on it. The white mask the little boy is wearing, where it has like an all white mask with big black eyes, kind of resembles kind of resembles a rabbit without ears to me. Um, later on, it shows the woman standing in the classroom with the with the two people cut out of paper, holding it above her head, kind of like a rabbit. So. We'll see what we'll see what this all means when the film releases. As of now, um, I am really excited. It is from Jordan Peele, who also made Get Out. Um, that movie was very trippy, very different, so fresh and new for the horror like genre, and uh, I really enjoyed it. And I have and I really feel like I'm gonna enjoy this movie as well. Um, I'm so excited for it coming out. Jordan Peele is also going to be directing um, the new Candyman. He's going to be remaking that. Uh, if you haven't seen that or are familiar, Candyman, you say his name three times in the mirror. It's guy with a hook comes out, beast fly out his mouth, kills you. It's a good movie. I feel it's a really underrated horror movie, so if you've never seen it, I definitely recommend checking it out before the remake comes out, although that's probably not going to be for a while. Um, it's just a really cool movie. I think you should check it out. Um, it's been one of my favorites since I was a kid. Um, didn't really pay too much attention to the sequels, um, but the first one is definitely pretty cool. And I'm wondering, is it going to take on other people or is it just the family? Later on it does show uh, Lupita Nyong'o running through the beach with like a fire poker. Um, it shows a group of people holding hands together and there is a dead body on the beach. I was trying to go back and make it who it was but I can't really tell. 
um, it's just someone kind of like curled up dead on the beach. So I guess we're gonna have to wait and see who that is for this when it comes out. Whenever um, it does release, I'm gonna go see the midnight showing, the 2 a.m. showing, whichever one I can get access to first, I will be there. And then I'll come back here and we'll do a review on the movie and kind of break down what we thought was gonna happen from the trailer and what actually happened. So, so what do you think is gonna happen? Um, what do you expect to see for this movie? Are you excited about it? Are you gonna pass on it? Let me know in the comments down below. I always reply. If you wanna hang out with me in between uploads, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's Tara underscore crew. I'll leave that down in the description below. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed me. Smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And until the next time, I'll see you ghouls later.